Good morning, goddammit. A loyal subscriber named Tom requested that intro, so that's what that was all about. I just got back from one of the best weekends of my whole entire life. The YouTubers Retreat in New York City was an event like I've never been to one before. I felt like I was on the real world, like in this reality show. It was so fun. Devon created this event because it's a way for us as YouTubers to bridge the gap between us and you guys, the people who watch us and support us day in and day out, commenting on all the videos, giving all of our videos thumbs up, just like straight up supporting us. And it was so amazing to meet you guys in person and do it in a different way that was just like, not at an expo, it wasn't super quick. It was, we got to sit down and have conversations with you guys, we got to have fun with you guys, and it was super fun and super cool. So this video is gonna show you guys everything that happened this weekend. So keep watching if you wanna see what went down. YouTubers Retreat, New York City, let's go. currently in an uber um we have all of our bags with us i'm sure all the new york people are probably freaking out that we're not taking the train and we're ubering everywhere but number one we're fair splitting everything and number two we have a ton of suitcases with us and we didn't want to like take all of our suitcases from brooklyn to manhattan this is just easier slightly more convenient for now but we're going to be taking the train for the rest of the weekend don't worry new york locals and today is day one of the YouTubers retreat. So tonight we have the Halloween party and everything. Our makeup artist is actually headed to our house, Airbnb like now. So we got to our Airbnb, but there's no key in the lockbox. So we're just sitting here until they come. We don't have a key to, the, we open the lockbox and there's no key in there. No key in the She's coming to help. I know. Oh wow, that is a very large tub. I'm down. Yeah. What is, is this a sauna? Wait. Yeah. No, guys! This house has a sauna. So we're uh, changing roommates, so we're replacing Rob and Sarah with Tyler and Stacy. Hey, that's us. Let's see who's better. Yes. <laughs> we are! And I Austin's here. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Why are Rob and Sarah here? Because they're at the Alphalete house. Oh. You. Fiend, y'all have a day. This guy has like seven or eight. Rapula, that thing up there. Uh, Jessica did an awesome job, and I'm going to put her information in the description box for you guys. If you're in New York City, she's great. Alright, I have my really close lens on right now, so all you can see is my face. But it's okay, because you're going to see the whole outfit later. Uh, we pretty much, it's like 5.45 right now. It's almost 6 o'clock. We have to be at the venue at 8 p.m., 8.30 p.m. or something like that. We've been sitting down working, just making sure we get what we need to get done before tomorrow. Done before we uh, actually get going tonight. Essentially just doing some eating. I don't like chips. <laughs> Not rice cakes. No. Oh, that Dr. Pepper looks good. Oh, <laughs> Super that is scary. Pretty it's scary. Oh. Pretty scary. Pretty. It's pretty scary. There's What's in the freezer? Apple. An apple. An apple. An apple pie. Well, you look so cute with your face. You're just holding this little apple pie. Hello. Hello. I'm Betty Crocker, and I'm gonna bake you a full pie. <laughs> so down. It's a flaky crust with real butter. <gasps> Finishing up getting some work done right now. It's about 6 15 p.m. and we have to be at the event later. And yes, we are working <laughs> before. Karen suggested we take some alphamine for fun. I sure did. What flavor is it? Sunrise? Ooh. This is how you take it correctly. Yeah. Like a boss. Like a boss. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's how it's done. Zone. <laughs> 7.20 and we have to leave in like 30 minutes. Like... 
furry things. I also have Mike Wazowski from Monsters Inc. <laughs> Goodbye. Mike Wazowski. I got my costume from Yanny.com. Bellamy kindly sent me some hair extensions for my costume. I have pink hair extensions. It's like an ombre black to pink hair extension thing. And I have some stick on nails also from Bellamy's company Nail Her. I'm really excited. I got my makeup done to match the costume and the hair and it all matches. Ready to go. Video public right now. You brought breakfast? What'd y'all bring? Uh, egg white delight. Oh, thank you so much. This is so nice. nice. We'll pick up breakfast for everybody. Mm -hmm. Free event and Hello. Holly and Javon just hey. got back with breakfast cool. for us. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you bring us? Egg white delight from McDonald's has like a lot of egg whites in it actually. It's like a, a good chunk of protein. Eat that protein. It's a good chunk Eat that protein. protein. Eat that protein. Oh, caffeination for the morning. PE Science Alphamine, one of my favorite products in the whole entire world. From one PE Science athlete to another, here you go. I appreciate it. Thank you. Good morning. Flossy outfit you got on there. Thank you. All your camera bags ready to go for the day. Gotta keep it flossy. Gotta keep it flossy. Yeah. Austin's gonna be filming the uh, next little bit of this video, so enjoy y'all. You know just what to say. Shit that scares me, I should just walk away But I can't move my feet The more that I know you, the more I want to Something inside me is changed I was so much younger yesterday Ooh. Wow! I didn't know that I was starving till I tasted you Don't need no butterflies when you get
speakers today are girls athletes. Um, and as I got to starting to work with them, I started realizing how much passion they have for their craft and the knowledge that they have and you know just their drive. And that alone inspired me to be my own entrepreneur of uh, Arnos. And when I started working with these athletes, I just started realizing there's we have such a big stage that we can really make an impact on the industry. So working with these athletes, we've really understood the differences between idolization versus education. And right now, the fitness industry is primarily about idolization. And that's something that I know I don't agree with and our athletes don't agree with because I know each and one of each of these people individually and the last thing that they're looking for is to be idolized. They put in so much work and dedication into their craft is they want to educate you guys. That's what inspires them. That's what that's why they go on YouTube is because that's where they get that passion from because when they feel like they've helped somebody, that just makes them want to work harder. You know, it's not about how many likes they get. It's not about, you know, being recognized. That's not what it's about for them. And, you know, the way it's all come about is, the definition of part if you guys don't know, is actually reflection. That's, that's the meaning of the word part So, it's been amazing how it's all tied together, because everything that we're saying is be part which is be your own reflection. Reflect who you are, who you want to be. Period. Don't idolize these athletes. Utilize them as a resource to build your dreams. And that's the whole point of what we're about. And that's why we started these workshops. And these workshops is, it's a little more, it's a little different than this, but it's a, it's a similar concept where we're here to educate you guys and utilize us as a resource to build you guys up. And um, they're, they're structured a little bit differently, so we can get a lot more um, intimate interaction with you guys. So you guys can really get in the depth of who these athletes are. And one of the exciting things that we're doing is that we're getting ready to launch is we're starting a youth project. So we're going to be taking our athletes and we're going to be going into high schools, YMCA's, to start educating our youth at the very beginning. I know there's a question about how do you deal with the negativity? And this is one of the ways we're going to start battling that, is we're going to start getting into the high schools where the idolization so-called starts, you know? Uh, that's because they're, especially with how big social media is now, they're on social media platforms and they're idolizing people all day, every day. That's what's happening. We just finished all the seminars and that went yeah. so well. I absolutely love talking to people. Public speaking has always been something really terrifying to me, but doing things more and more. Uh, yeah, seriously, it's, just, you it's did scary. Great, so did you. Um, we had a really fun time talking, so now we're headed to a dodgeball tournament. We're lost in New York, but it's a beautiful day, so it's okay. I, you guys are coming to the dodgeball too, right? A couple of these guys came to the YouTube hey, retreat. Up? What are your names? Ayush. Ayush? Jeremy. Jeremy? Lauren. Lauren. Jessica. I'm Rob. <laughs> Who cares about yeah. you? I care about them. Sorry. Bye. <laughs> and we're here at the volleyball game. I just got whacked. Dodgeball. I keep saying volleyball. <laughs> Can I Wait, see that, that clip? I just got whacked in the head. Heidi's going to send it to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lexi we're cut it all on camera. It. We're going to slow-mo it. <laughs> I can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right
Let's have some fun. End it all with a bang. Love you guys. Last night for the YouTubers retreat, I have a dress on from Fashion Nova, some heels from also Fashion Nova. Movement watch. Yeah. My crew is looking Woo! spiffy as hell. Taking some shots before we head out. Uh -huh. One, two, three, alpha me. And I did my makeup all by myself today. Pretty proud of it actually.